think, you know, obviously Pittsburgh's a great city. Uh, it's one of the uh, most growing uh, job markets in the country. Duquesne's a great academic institution. Uh, the school is very committed to winning. Uh, have done everything that we needed them to do to, to have a successful program. And we've won in the past. So, you know, you have to sell yourself and the guys that you have and the guys that have played for you. And so we feel like with those ingredients, we should be able to win. And that's kind of what we've sold, sold the young people on. Um, have they been receptive? We've had success. I mean, we've had a, we've missed on a few guys, but we've gotten our share. Obviously we, you know, we committed eight guys in the spring and uh, we've had good reception for the younger guys and just kind of done a lot of different things to try to have success and spent a lot of time with the people, uh, the local Western PA guys and, just continue to do our job. Just try to try to grind through. That's really what we do, and we feel like we can have success here. We really do. You had a really good thing going at Akron, and you know, and in fact, Dave even told me he thought that your Akron teams would have been in the top half of the A10. Uh, what made you decide to uh, accept this challenge? I think uh, it's obviously a big time challenge, uh, but it's also a big time opportunity. I think uh, the timing was right. I turned down another job that uh, just didn't feel like was right for me. After the season? Be yeah, before this one. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think uh, I think my dad having played here, and my dad's tremendous pride in the in their program uh, had a had a part to it. I think some frustration level, you know, winning twenty six and twenty seven games, and uh, you know, falling a little short in the MAC championship the last two years played into it a little bit. But I think mostly just the competitiveness of trying to win in the Atlantic 10 and, uh, you know, in the latter stages of my career, you know, just trying to do something special again. And so mm -hmm. I think that's kind of kind of what really pushed me over the edge. Um, you're, um, how long do you want to coach? That's a great question, really. I'm, you know, I'm going to be 59 in October. Uh, I never thought I'd work past 63 or 64, but at this stage it looks like I'm going to. <laughs> and as long as I feel good and my family is all in on it, you know, I'm going to fulfill my seven years here and then, you know, just see how much I like it. And if I still feel good at 65, then I'll keep going. And if I don't, I'll, I'll call it a career. You signed a seven-year contract. Correct. Is that unusual in college basketball, that, that length? Or right uh, off the bat, I mean. I don't know. I don't know if it's unusual. I had that one. I had one longer than that at Akron. Mm -hmm. Um I think, you know, if you want to get good people, you have to show good faith. And certainly Duquesne showed good faith. And, you know, they came after me with that. And that's kind of what I needed to make the move. Mm -hmm. and so uh, I think people are getting six, seven years, mostly five. But I think uh, Duquesne really wants to win. And the school wants to win. And we have the ingredients to win. And that was part of the ingredient. 